Hello everyone. Um, I was going to do a really quick one today. Um, I had done this technique probably a good 15 years ago, back in the stamping days when uh, rubber stamps were the craze. Um, and it's a super simple technique and I thought I would like tweak it a little bit to um, work with some different materials. Um, instead of rubber stamps, because I know not everyone has these, I'm going to be using the um, carved erasers that I uh, made in my previous video here on YouTube. Um, so that's there if you want to do erasers. We're going to be using black um, or dark paper. And I actually went through kind of my stash and found some fabric, some brown craft paper. I found some vintage black paper. Um, it all kind of reacts differently. So just kind of go through your stash and see what kind of dark pieces of paper you have. I also had a piece of black tissue paper that I grabbed. And then I also had in my stash some black paper that I had tea dyed and went through um, one of my dyeing processes, but it was dark enough. So I thought I would try that too. So that's what you'll need. You'll need some dark paper. I, this was just a little paper bag that I had. And this is some of the results that I got just as a real quick um, trial run before I went um, went into um, the video. I'm using Clorox bleach. Do this in a ventilated area. If you're sensitive to bleach, don't do this. Um, it can be kind of strong. I realized as I got halfway through, if you put a little um, paper towel or this is a baby wipe in your, um, a, like a very shallow tray and that keeps it wet, the bleach, it's kind of a stamp pad of bleach. So I did that. And I'm just going to try um, some different things. I'm even going to try a piece of lace and a brayer and see what kind of results I can get with that. But you can see that every piece of fabric or paper will pull um, a different color. So the fabric pulled a little red, the tissue paper pulled green. This turned out really neat. It's like a brownish craft color. The craft paper, um, this particular one was white. You get some really pretty browns and oranges. So it's kind of fun just to see what happens. Every piece is different. And I love that about this technique. These are great to incorporate into collage work. So I love having these kind of just really interesting fragments of pieces of paper to, um, to use in, in all of my art and my journals and everything that I do. So I'm gonna just jump in. We're gonna just do some experiments and I'm gonna use different things. If you don't have any erasers um, carved up, any stamps on hand, this is an old um, vintage, I think this is a some kind of a printmaking thing that's falling apart and I thought I would just let it fall apart and take some pieces out of there maybe. Um, let's see, let's see what I can get. Even the burlap would be probably be pretty cool. So, all right, let's start with this first. This was just a piece of cardstock from, um, I think, scrapbooking days. And my paper towel, I'm just gonna put a little bit of bleach. You don't need a whole lot. Just a few little drips. You don't want too much either because you'll get um, more pooling. So also a good idea to have um, standing by is just something that you can blot on. Of course, wear your ugly, your gross paint clothes that you don't care about. And I'm gonna start with this rubber stamp. This is um, one that has some writing on it. And think about layering these too. That would be really fun. Look. So I'm just gonna go through and randomly stamp. I'm not worried about how, how it's gonna turn out or what it's gonna look like. I might go back over that since I like to um, make these a little bit more my own. So 
maybe I would take something like this. But as you can see, like some of these papers react really quick. So I'm double stamping this. We'll just make that stamp a little more abstract and not so glaringly um, obvious of what, what it is. So let's do this, another page of that. Um, I'm gonna use these little X's. This is such a fun, what's gonna happen sort of a technique. I love that about this. Think too about other um, textures or things that you have around the house that you could use for printing. Do a piece of fabric. So the fabric's pretty thin. I may just go ahead and grab a piece, another piece of paper, just to protect my surface a little bit more. And this is another rubber stamp that's been around. I've had for years and years. And I don't use them very much anymore. But this technique is is kind of fun. Try some different things, pull some old supplies out. And again, like on the rubber stamps, I'm not trying to get a perfect impression. I just want some impression. Again, this fabric reacted really fast, so it's fun to see it kind of develop. Layering is always good. Well, um, another thing you could do is just a, a brush or a foam, foam brush or anything that will make a mark. So a mark making tool. So this piece of paper was one that I had um, dyed um, in a dye pot in a bundle and it was dyed with um, tea bags and rust. So it's kind of fun to see the different chemical reactions that you get. And I love this so much and they're so cool to like tear up and rip and yeah, but look how much that pulled, pulled red or almost a rusty red color and that super fun and that was just done with a um, foam brush dipped into the bleach all right let's do some tissue paper and oh I know I didn't explain these um these are little foam fun foam that you get that's kind of the sticky back I use those and cut them in pieces and um, stick them to some, some car, like cardboard or chipboard from the back of my um, watercolor books. And those work really well for mark making, for all kinds of mark making. But I thought I would try with um, the bleach today. And so I doubled up on my tissue paper and it's going through both sides. So that's pretty cool too. So you'll get one side that's a little um, um, more bright and then the back side will be a little more abstract. And have fun with this, play around. 
um, look at stuff that you have just laying on your um, your desk that would work but that's gonna pull really green too um, this was another piece of vintage book paper I think it was like a in a vintage book and I don't know what's gonna happen to that one so let's give that a go And sometimes you get a page that just doesn't want to bleach. And that's, that happens too. But you can really sit down with a stack of dark papers and make a lot of collage pieces really quickly. Another piece of dark vintage paper. This one's really cool because it's like glued. I think it was an envelope. And... Going to use another one of the carved erasers. And you can see I'm not like, it's not really wet. It's drying pretty quick. And you can kind of gauge as you go along if you need to add more bleach to your dish. I happen to like the smell of bleach. I know that's terrible, but I don't know. I I kind of love it. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't. Um, so this probably wouldn't be for you. But it is fun. All right. So let me try... Um, I'm gonna try this piece of lace. I hadn't tried this yet, and I wanna do it on one of the pieces that are more reactive. So let's pull this out. I know I'm gonna get I know I'm gonna get a good print on this paper. And pay attention as you do this. Um, some of the papers, like this one, just did not pull that well. So I'll probably just pull that out of there and use it for something else. Um, but I at least experimented and tried. So this, I'm gonna try lace. So I'm gonna use my brayer. This is my brayer. And then I'm just going to um, use the foam brush again and just make sure that that gets pretty saturated. May have to add a little bit more, a few more drops. Let's see what this does. So this is going to be a little more random. So cool. Oh gosh, I love this. So I'm in love. I'm going to grab another kind of lace. How fun. Isn't that amazing? How cool would that be just torn up little bits of this? Or even this would be an amazing just page in your journal, um, a start. Let me grab. This might be pretty cool. Let's try this piece. And either, I guess, the foam brush, or you could just use the uh, back of one of your stamps to get that saturated. See, I'm so glad I tried that. It's really, really cool. So anything that you have that's kind of got a little relief in it, I, I, would, I would imagine this would work with small pieces of stencil uh, too. Maybe I'll go grab that. Yeah, that is super fun. And just so unique. So this slider gray paper, um, I don't know that I've tried it yet. Let's 
Give that a go. So this was my vintage um, piece of lino print or something. Let me see how that works on there. And that doesn't really, that's kind of a no-go. So, but you know, I tried it and just pick up things and try them. It did start to kind of come through. This is a really pretty carved stamp somebody sent me. Let's do that. And I think because I used lace on this um, before, it, it was, uh, you use a little bit more because it's fabric, so it saturated the lace more than, wow, that's gorgeous. That looks like lace too. You can see this gets like really addicting and exciting. I'm thinking of things that I want to pull out of my stash to print. So this is a cork um, that I had carved some little circles out of. Cork works good too because it um, is a little bit porous. That's really neat. It looks kind of like a beehive. Oh, so much fun. So exciting. So I could go on and go on for days. Let's do one piece of um, brown paper so I can show you how that reacts. But yeah, sky's the limit. And this is just a really fun, fast technique to add to your stash. And do something that's creative, that doesn't take a lot of thinking. It's just kind of meditative and fun and I just really love these kind of techniques and then when you sit down to be more um, purposeful like to journal or to make a piece of art you have an amazing stash of gorgeous hand done thoughtful um, fragments and pieces for your artwork and I think it just makes such a difference And you also, when you do things like this, you start to see um, your aesthetic more and what things that you are drawn to. And, and that's kind of cool too, because you can pull things together better that way. So there you go. There's that uh, technique with um, bleach and stamps, mark making tools. So thanks for following along today. I hope you have fun doing this and I'd love to see um, what you make on Instagram. Tag me. I'm Amy Irel on Instagram or here. And thanks again for watching. I hope to see you soon.